Welcome back to Top 5 Auto Repairs. How do you know your camshaft or crankshaft seal is going bad and it's time to replace it? So the crankshaft seal is going to be located right in front of the crankshaft, right behind the harmonic balancer or crankshaft pulley. And the camshaft seal is going to be behind the uh, camshaft sprocket. So the camshaft and crankshaft seal start to fail around 130,000 miles to around 180,000 miles or so. When a camshaft or crankshaft seal start to fail, usually caused by natural wear and tear, high mileage, uh, the engine's overheated at one point, or let's just say you have extremely low engine oil and cause the uh, a seal to dry out, that's going to cause the uh, camshaft and crankshaft seal to prematurely fail. So when a camshaft or crankshaft seal start to fail or start to break or start to crack, it's going to cause severe engine oil leak. The reason why you want to change the camshaft and crankshaft seal ahead of time simply because there's going to be a sensor down over here and over here. So basically you have the camshaft sensor and crankshaft sensor. And when you have severe engine oil leak, it can go straight onto the sensor and cause it to become contaminated. When the crankshaft sensor and the camshaft sensor becomes contaminated and soaked in engine oil, this is going to cause all sorts of issues. Since the camshaft sensor and crankshaft sensor is part of the timing system, if these two sensors do not work properly, it cannot send a proper signal to the computer telling it the position of the camshaft and crankshaft. When the camshaft sensor and crankshaft sensor become soaked in engine oil, this can cause an interruption in the signal. For example, this can cause hesitation while acceleration, this can cause stalling while driving, it can cause stalling at idle, and also, it will cause a no start as well. Another reason why you want to change the camshaft and crankshaft sensor is because you don't want all the engine oil to go onto the uh, timing system. For example, it can cause the timing belt to become soaked in engine oil. And when the timing belt becomes soaked in engine oil, it, it can become slippery and this can cause the uh, belt to jump. When the belt jumps, it's going to cause poor engine performance. It can cause your intake and exhaust valves to bend, it can cause low compression, it can cause no starts, it can cause all sorts of issues. That's why it is important to change that camshaft and crankshaft seal to prevent these issues. To change the crankshaft seal, usually the uh, crankshaft seal or front seal is located behind the harmonic balancer. And you're gonna need a simple kit like this to remove the um, Harmonic balancer. Once you remove the harmonic balancer, what you need, you're gonna need some sort of removal tool or installer to remove the crankshaft, a seal, or camshaft seal. If you don't have the tool to remove the camshaft or crankshaft seal, you can just use like a screwdriver and just hit it on the end over here and just kind of tap it in with a hammer and the uh, camshaft or crankshaft seal will easily come out. All you gotta do is just kind of just pry it out. Just be careful you don't cause damage around the surrounding area. And once you are done, you can just use like a socket set like this, like an axle socket set, and just find the appropriate size and just go right over it slowly, make sure it's flush, and just tap it right in. Of course, before you do that, you might want to apply a little bit of silicone around the uh, crankshaft seal and camshaft seal, and again, drive it in. I hope you found this video useful. As always, thank you for watching, and subscribe to Top 5 Water Repairs.